Tech companies stressing that the next leg in the AI race is all about data. That's the focus of today's Tech Check. Dear Jabosa, here with that. Hey, Dave. Mike, it's something I hear over and over again these days. Your model, your large language model or generative AI model is only as good as your data. Now, yesterday I was at the Bank of America Tech Conference here in San Francisco talking to a number of CEOs and analysts. Zero surprise to our audience. A lot of that discussion focused on artificial intelligence. Now, Dynatrace is an enterprise cloud platform seen by some analysts as a clear leader in the broader AI space. CEO Rick McConnell told us about the importance of that data. Generative AI is going to enable all companies to compete more rapidly, develop applications faster, get to market more rapidly. So I think all of that's true. What is interesting, though, is that the digital transformation waves, the waves toward cloud migration, they are creating an explosion in data. And that data needs to be analyzed. And analyzing that data is going to require more and more automation. And AI can bring that degree of automation. Yeah, how do you crunch all that data? How do you collect it all? So to that point, I also spoke to Microchip CEO Ganesh Murthy about how cloud providers, the hyperscalers like Amazon, Microsoft, Google, how they can accommodate these huge amounts of data that generative AI engines require. I asked him also more broadly if CapEx will increase for them as part of this shift. Absolutely. And I think you will also find that companies like us uh, who are looking to deploy AI to be more productive will add to the CapEx, right? So when we do this, you know, we will make sure we work to either with ourselves internally or through a cloud provider, provide us the capability to drive the AI requirements that we have, right? whether it's through open AI, through any other uh, you know, mechanism that we want to have. So productivity of companies has always uh, you know, drawn um, investments because we look at it as what kind of return on investment can we get? And I think that will ultimately drive more CapEx spending on the cloud and the other related elements of AI. Presents an interesting dynamic for some of the largest cloud companies, right, and big tech companies who are going to benefit from the shift to generative AI because of how much data they have, but also their costs are going to go up as they have to accommodate for it. They have to build the infrastructure, new infrastructure to accommodate the shift. I know you guys have been talking all morning about that Bernstein Amazon report urging the company to tighten its strategy. If data is the gold in this generative AI shift, it's hard to think of someone that has more of it than Amazon, but again, plays into that dynamic of they have a huge opportunity here, but their costs could go up as well.